Te shalom, shalom, kwa mea sa'ala, ko holoyim la, yahawa, bahashim, yahawa shai, bahashim, rekha hakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahawa, bahashim, yahawa shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahawa Hanan Awaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, these these two goons that you see on on the um, the screen looking like twins with them dumbass hairdos says mother son and his girlfriend charged in killing six dogs at their runner house right so let's let's get some of the article this shit is retarded bro and this is how he, um, Jake be getting down these days Jake just stupid as hell that's why the scripture talks about um, our people are sottish they are wise to do evil. Matter of fact, we can get that. Let me see real fast. And also, I had this one, Proverbs 27 to 23. It's kind of going into something different. But it says, Be thou, um, Proverbs 27 to 23. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds. And that's pretty much just, you know, your animals. You know, that ancient days, you know, we would have flocks and, you know, herds of sheep, goats, you know, um, whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? But you wanted to look, you know, treat them properly treat them right you know what i'm saying because really you know what that's really going into is like you know it keeps you fed you know because you can share your sheep and get clothing you can you know get milk from the so you want to make sure that your flock were doing just fine you know you know what i'm saying and generally you you know you had a shepherd and our ultimate shepherd is yahweh shai which the world ignorantly calls jesus over the you know over the elect of israel so to speak but you know i, I just, i'm just looking like well damn you got six dogs you would just kill the dogs, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, you know, wickedness for, for one, but let's get that one scripture. Um what is it? Is it Jeremiah? Let me see Salakia. This might not be it. Yep, this is this is it right here. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. In the NLT, the New Living Translation, it says, My people are foolish and do not know me, says the Lord. They are stupid children who have no understanding. They are clever enough at doing wrong, but they have no idea how to do right, man. So let's go into some of the article. going to be a quick one. I just seen it and I'm like, damn. But this lets you know the state that Jake is in. It says a mother and son. And his girlfriend had been charged with killing six dogs in an East Point rental house. And yeah, that East Point, man, that's not one of them areas to be fucking around. You know, and it's one of them, you know, Esau runs the whole damn country. But, you know, those Edomite areas, they don't be wanting Jake there, man, because Jake too goddamn wild. Cornisha Robinson, 49. Here you go, this bitch half century old, man. Her son, Kendrell, Kentrell Door. 21 and his girlfriend india jones 21 were allegedly evicted from their east point rental house and that's probably why they done it being stupid as hell not knowing that that was just going to get you in more trouble because um generally what jake could do here and you know probably in the other state too but jake would you know plug up the um sinks in the, in the house kitchen sink you know bathroom sink the tub and they'll just let water run, you know, do all kinds of water damage to the rental property because they have to go. They may be evicted because they ass is not paying rent. You know, they'll, you know, um, you know, just do all kinds of damage to a person's home. So, you know, if you're a home, um, a rental property owner, yeah, man, that's a, that's a hard business to be into these days. It used to be easier. You just collect your money on a month at the end of the month. You know what I'm saying? But now you have to worry about and really vet, super duper vet. Because they may even seem like the greatest people, the nicest people. The car fits the bill. You see them pull up like, oh, okay, they got a nice car. You know, I seen their their check stubs. You know what I'm saying? They're able to pay the, the three months, three months rent, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to put down three, three times the amount or you have to be making three times the amount of the rent. And they, you know, all right, they've done done the search, okay. They've done background checks and shit like that. They let people in. And then you can still end up with a goddamn idiot like these motherfuckers right here, man. But see, they done got themselves in some shit. Because um, it says, under Michigan law, intentional killing of a dog 
is a four-year felony. You can get more time for killing a dog here in Michigan than you can get for killing a you know a, a person. Pretty much. Robinson, Dorr, and Jones were all charged with killing and torturing animals in the third degree, a four-year felony, abandoning and cruelty to, to four to ten animals, a, a two-year felony. Dorr and Jones were charged in 38th East Point District Court where bond was set at $25,000 cash surety, no 10%. Robinson will be arraigned at a later date. So, they probably going to... Um, because Robinson is the mother, right? Let me see here. I think she's the mom. Robinson. Slovakia. Yep. The 50 year old. 49 years old. And you're doing shit. Because they're going to give her the business. Because more than likely she was the one that's really on the, on, the, on the hookup. On the lease or whatever. It says upon release. The defendants are to have no drugs or alcohol. No contact with animals. And no contact with witnesses in the case. I, probably, I missed something too let me see because it said that hold on let me see here oh here we go right here this is the part officials said when the property manager and cleaning crew went to the house six decomposed dogs were found in the basement you didn't think they was going to report that shit you didn't think that they was going to report that? Are you fucking in East Point? Anyway. And now, say had they been in Detroit here, they they still could have got reported. Which, you know, Jake would have probably had somebody come through, clear the damn dogs out, you know what I'm saying? And just been like, you know, took the L and been like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Pissed off, though. Because, you know, we're under those curses. We don't get that. We don't get, you know, justice like how, you know what I'm saying, these other nations do. But see, in an area like that, you know, they're not playing that shit. Jeremiah 4 and 22 again. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. Let me read it in NLT again because that's a, that's a sweet um, translation. My people are foolish and do not know me, says the Lord Yahweh. They are stupid children who have no understanding. They are clever enough to, at doing wrong, but they have no idea how to do right. Because this is stupid as hell. Now your ass about to possibly do four years. And why would you kill dogs like that? You know, they got the... Hey, they, they care about dogs and shit like that here. You know, the Animal Humane Society, shit, these motherfuckers, man, they, they, they care a lot more about animals than they actually do about humans, man. That's why this shit is saying that you can get four years. You know, you can, you can do, you know, take somebody out <laughs> in the hood... Ain't no get no time at all, man. You know? Anyway, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot segment, but it's just to show you how cruel our people have become. You know how, it, man, it takes a lot to kill six dogs. It's not saying how they killed them. It's not saying that they stabbed them, um, you know, or, or, or uh, I mean, shit, it's, man, shit, the dogs, man, the motherfuckers. I just seen a squirrel. <laughs> I was, you know, I'm at the plantation now. I'm driving. And the damn squirrel, man, that motherfucker ran underneath a truck, a truck in front of me. I'm like, yep, his ass is through. Car hit him, you know, tire, he rolled under the tire and everything. That motherfucker uh, uh, rolled out of that shit, man, and kept on running. I was like, God damn, that little nigga tough. So a dog, man, dogs are not fucking easy to kill, man, like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm not sure. Maybe they poisoned them because I can't see them really doing anything. Like, But, but, but that's being, you, you know, they were being spiteful. No one leaves a house. Just think, people leave leave your house fucked up, leave all manner of shit in your house. Dog shit all over the floors, you know, just everything. Just you know, cause you know, generally when somebody move out here, man, you got to redo your whole house, man. You have to have a a whole remodeling company. That's why you have to have you know that serious serious rental insurance type shit on your property, man. Cause Jake would tear your shit up. Cause Jake just wild as hell, and that's the reason why you know people don't want to um. They don't want to rent to our people like that, man. And you can't blame them. I seen another video with a Jake, and he was, you know, he I think it was a TikTok, and he was pissed, man. He was like, man, he was walking into his house after these people left, and he was talking about some black people. He's like, man, he probably wouldn't ever. When I say, boy, <laughs> you know, he probably wouldn't ever want to rent his property out to nobody again, for that matter. He probably like, man, fuck it, I'll just, you know. 
because generally, man, you you want one of your family members that you really, really trust that need a place to stay to rent your um, properties, man, these days. And even then, you, you have to be careful because because Jake is spiteful as hell. But I'm going to end out there, man. I just wanted to touch on this. But you could tell from these these hairdos. Look at that. They both got the same goddamn hairdo. That stupid ass blonde fucking dye in the head, man. And the scriptures talks about that um, um, um that yellow that yellow thin hair, man, going into leprosy. Y'all want to be look, man. You walking into a, any place or establishment looking like how these two look, motherfuckers gonna be looking at you, man, and and, and, and you're the target. Watch them, cameras all on you. Motherfuckers zooming in on your ass the whole way you your whole while you in whatever establishment you in. Looking crazy as hell. Anyway, with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashala and the Bubble Ball.